did not make you waffles. I made myself waffles. And I left you one. Oh. What are you doing still on your road? The morning's half over. Oh. I had a little trouble sleeping last night. Ah, Sergeant uh, Doom and Major Disaster waging action figure war. No. No, that's, uh, that wasn't exactly what was keeping me away. Tad. Hmm? Wake up and smell the cappuccino. Okay. I don't need to have a brick wall fall on me. Although I certainly wouldn't mind if it did. Touche. What's with the scribbling? I'm trying to come up with a, uh, with a list of places and clues to Uncle Palmer. The Shorehurst Lambert's Cove Road. Cuckoo clucks? Clocks. Um, it's, uh, Uncle Palmer once had a friend uh, that he talked about a Swiss clockmaker uh, that he met during the war, so. As in World War II. Exactly. I couldn't think of the name, so I just wrote, um... Cuckoo clucks. Clocks. <laughs> clocks. <laughs> clocks. No, it's good. That's, that's, ooh, this is a good thing you've done. I'm sure, you know, it'll come back to you. Uh, what's the Shorehurst? Um, it's an out-of-the-way hotel in uh, Manhattan. Uncle Palmer likes to go there when he doesn't want Wall Street to know he's in town. That's impressive. No, oh, really, that's good. I used to make lists like this when I was a private, private investigator. Yeah, I know. Where do you think I got the idea from? I learned from the great master Thaddeus Martin. <laughs> False and pfeffer. Huh? The, the, the name of the, um, the, the Swiss, uh, cuckoo clock, clock maker. maker. Clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. False and pfeffer, write it down. My gosh, I'm sure you've broken this thing wide open. Who? Bonjour, Dimitri. Mm, bonjour. Let me get your chair for you. Oh, thank you. Edmund. Edmund, was there an intruder roaming around the house last night? I thought I heard no noises coming from the brew room. I heard noises, too. I assumed it was an invited guest. Not I. Hmm. Maybe it was the ghost of Wildwood. Well, I've encountered a few of those in my lifetime. Yeah. Yes. Well, I don't know. My security system only detects the living. Uh, when did you hear these noises? Well, it was very, very late last night. Well, I heard them very, very early this morning. I'll have Peggy check around, see if one of the new staff members decided to take a private tour of the house. Oh, don't get up, please. Oh, Julian. Julian, were you in your room late last night? Certainly, I was. I, uh, I came in quite early. The clock in the foyer said 11.45, and I must have been fast asleep by 12.30. Ah, so you didn't hear any noises? No. You didn't commandeer the closets to the blue room? I don't know what any of you are talking about. Good morning, Grandma Ma. Good morning. Gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. So, what happened to you? You were out till all hours? You're mistaken. I kept coming by your room. I finally gave up around 1 o'clock. I came in at 11.45, and I was fast asleep by 12.30. Why don't see why you would care? Well, I, I don't. I just thought it was weird how you vanished. I thought we were finally communicating, and I turn around, and you're gone. Now, this is how I remember it. Here I was, pouring my heart out to you while you tell me to take a number, while you were fawning over Haley in her wedding gown, her white wedding gown. <clears throat> oh, I suspect you're the ghost from the blue room. Boo. I'm Edmund Gray. I'm the owner of Wildwind. Oh, this, ha this house is beautiful. Thank you. And who are you? Oh, I'm Raquel. Raquel Dion. I'm here because I'm, well, because I know Mateo.
sure if I remember, but I dreamt that you were holding me. It's mm, nice. And then I had another dream that we were flying. Yeah, like Superman? Mm -hmm. Well, no, not really, on an airplane. And the pilot said, we have not reached our destination. Scary? Mm -mm, you were holding me. <laughs> Scary now that I wake up and remember that there's another woman in this house that claims to be your wife. Listen, we're gonna be okay. I promise. The marriage was over a long time ago, I swear. This is just some kind of technical mistake that can be fixed. It's not that. My Children, brought to you by Welsh's 100% Grape Juice. It's just too good to gulp. There are juices you drink fast, and then there's Welch's. Welch's Grape Juice is just too good to gulp. Remember when you were a kid, how it flooded your mouth with flavor? Well, it still does. Welch's Concord Grapes give it a taste you can feel in your cheeks. Welch's is 100% grape juice. They don't have to add a lot of other stuff. Welch's grape juice is just too good to gulp. Pick a color, any color, and save 10% during our fall hair color event. J.C. Penney Styling Salon. Great American looks. Wow, that was almost as good as a Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher intercepts! You died, Chris. Hey! I need Annie. No matter how much it hurts, you can't reach her. You don't know us. On October 2nd, love lives forever. I'm her soulmate. I can find her. Robin Williams. Ah! What dreams may come. I'm still here, Ben. I still exist. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, October 2nd at theaters everywhere. Morning, Mom. Fill her up, please. Now Chex has a snack time mix for your kid on the go. Chex School Fuel, a sweet new recipe on specially marked boxes. In minutes, you transform brown sugar, Chex, and chocolate into a treat that'll rev up their taste buds. Keep the change. New Chex School Fuel. You make it, kids love it. Ultra has an ultra-absorbent lock-away core that turns liquid into gel and helps lock it inside. Always Ultra. Less pad, lots of protection. The Practice. Winner of three Emmys, including Outstanding Drama Series. I wasn't thinking. You could get this far. No, it was stupid. Not stupid, Eleanor. Criminal. It's the season premiere that will give you everything you never expected. The Emmy-winning drama, The Practice, ABC premiere Sunday at 10, 9 central. Hi. Hey, Jack, any news? No. Turns out they need our help. We tried to see Mrs. Corbin, but the maid sent us away. We thought we'd get some insight from people who knew Palmer. Now our search. What he's trying to say is that the old fox has them stumped. Oh, make no mistake about it. We'll get them. It would be better for Mr. Cortland if we found him sooner rather than later. Better how? So we can start serving his sentence sooner rather than later? No, better because Leavenworth is preferable to a coffin. If the wrong people get to him first, he's a dead man. What do you... what? What do you mean, wrong people? Jack, what the hell's going on here? Look, the paintings that Cortland stole, when they were in the hands of the Germans, while the Allies were closing in, we have reason to believe that the SS hid something behind one of those paintings, a list covered with a false canvas backing. A Nazi list? Names of operatives and their destinations. 
That's over 50 years ago. I mean, surely they're all dead by now. These agents were acting as couriers. They were carrying huge amounts of cash and gold bullion that was intended to, to fund covert operations after the war. Now, anyone with that list can get to the money. Which means anyone with that list usually doesn't stay alive very long. Oh, hold on a minute, guys. We're not really talking about Nazis here, are we? Nazis doesn't matter. These are movie villains with dueling scars and funny accents. These people of the day, they look like you and me. And they kill anyone who gets in their way. Including Uncle Palmer. Exactly. You got the wrong fellow. Oh, but I know you, Mr. Corlett. So you're here incognito, is that it? Then the buzz on the street's true. There's another mega merger in the offing. I'm about to close this door, whether or not you remove your fingers. Uh, I'll slip a resume under your door later. Attempt at any further contact, I'll have you evicted. But... So I guess you found the blue room all right after we said goodnight? Yes. Eventually. These hallways are like a maze. So, um, you two know each other? Yeah, we met at the hospital. She was looking for Haley and Mateo. Did you know Mateo's family in Texas? Yes, um, very well. So you and Mateo, you were like old school chums? We went to high school together, but we lost touch after very long, um, very long ago. So, um, you know, I almost got lost in this house last night. It's so big. Do you all live here? Indeed we do. Are you all related? In one way or another. No, just consider us like the Adams family, only with better complexions. <laughs> Dimitri is my brother. Eugenia is our aunt, Jillian is our cousin, and Ryan is Jillian's husband. Yes, and there will be a quiz later. Mm. Brother, aunt, cousin, cousin's husband. I'm Mexican, so it's normal for me. <laughs> um, so how does Mateo fit into all of this? I married his oldest sister. Oh, Maria. I love her. Does she live here, too? She died last year. Oh. I'm so sorry. She was a terrific person. Thank you. You know, she was an inspiration to me. You know how sometimes people, I don't know, kind of bow to fate and they let life tear them down? Maria, Maria was different. I mean, she was so strong, and she just never let anything get in the way of her dreams. You're right. You know, I try and follow that. Anytime I come up against an obstacle, it just makes me fight harder. So did she become a doctor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she always said that she would. Mm -hmm. And you and she? Kids? Oh, yeah, we have two, uh, Sam and Maddie. And they're up in the nursery right now. Maria's children. Uh -huh. Oh, God. I can't wait to meet them. I... I love children just about more than anything. I'm sure they'll like you. Listen, uh, you want to go up in the nursery? We can see them right after breakfast. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. This <laughs> one time, Maria, she cut her hair so short that Hector, that's her father, <laughs> said that she could never leave... Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mateo. We have just been introduced to Raquel. And we are very glad you asked her to stay. I couldn't ask you last night. She, uh, she arrived very late. Oh, I wish I could have seen your faces. What fun it must have been to receive this surprise visit from Mateo's old girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I'm more than Mateo's old girlfriend. 
I'm his wife. discovery. Small words are hard to read, which is why at Nokia, we make wireless phones with screens that are big, so they're easier to read. Inspired technology with a human touch. Nokia. Connecting people. I have the cleanest and nicest smelling toilet in the neighborhood. Since I started using vanish hang-ins, the toilet bowls stay completely clean. The fact that it delivers bleach to the bowl is terrific. My scrubbing days are over. Real easy to use. Drop the tablet in the dispenser, hang it on the side of the tank, boom, you're done. Vanish hang-ins deliver more bleach to your bowl than Clorox. There's no stain. No scrubbing. No ring. Like magic. Ta-da! Vanish hang-ins. More bleach to the bowl. If anybody doesn't believe me, ring my doorbell and you can smell my toilet. I thought you quit smoking. I did. Really? What's up with that? It's a Nicotrol inhaler. Gives me the nicotine I need to fight my cravings and help me quit. Really? But you can only use it for up to six months, and you have to use it as part of a stop smoking program. You have to stop smoking first, then you can't use it with anything else containing nicotine. It's important to tell your doctor if you have heart or lung disease or are pregnant or nursing. The most common side effects are mild throat or mouth irritation, cough, and upset stomach. How do I look? Surprisingly intelligent. Ask your doctor for product information. When someone has the time and the ingredients, it's no surprise they cook up a really delicious dinner. The surprise is, voila, so can you, with new chicken, voila. It's all there, even the seasoned grilled chicken breast. One skillet, 10 minutes, voila. You've never cooked a meal this good this fast. It's new, it's chicken, voila, in the bird's eye section. <laughs> it's time for a change, because this isn't a cold, it's a siege. <laughs> Last night, single nostril breathing. First the left was clogged, then the right. Why is it switch? So I tried these, but I was still up coughing. Finally, I got some sleep at my desk. I'm trying NyQuil. NyQuil, the nighttime sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever, so you can rest and have a good morning medicine. You're my new best friend. Just kidding. In search of a new scent. <laughs> Snuggle didn't settle until he found that clean, peaceful fresh that only comes after the rain falls down. <laughs> Introducing Fresh Rain Snuggle Fabric Softener. Breathe deep. To spend your life with someone and then suddenly find they're gone, I think it leaves you with a feeling that your soul is being amputated. Everything that was important to me is gone. What Brenda and I had is much more than most people ever get. Oh, I'm not self-destructive. I'm just uh, searching for a reason to go on. General Hospital, ABC Daytime. ABC premiere Thursday tonight, a blockbuster movie event. Kurt Russell. I'm a nerve agent here to wipe out half the eastern seaboard. Steven Seagal. There's a hatch on the belly of the 747. We could dock there. And Halle Berry. Team up in the network premiere. We're not gonna make it! Executive decision. ABC premiere Thursday tonight, 8, 7 central. Parental discretion advised. What a mess. Oh, I, I mean the spilled juice. Mateo's wife. You can't both be Mateo's wife. Excuse us. She must be his wife. He's treating her just like a husband. Julian, that's enough. No, really. See, just like that. I always thought Mateo was too lovey-dovey to be real. Julian, why don't we let Haley have her breakfast? Of course, yeah. I apologize. Um, it's just such a strange turn of events. But by all means, Haley, have some breakfast. Why don't you try the eggs Benedict? Raquel just couldn't get enough of it. Julian, I mean it. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean to imply that Haley would love everything Raquel loves. I'm sure Haley didn't even know that Raquel existed and that Mateo was a bigamist. Mateo was not a bigamist. No, no, of course he's not a bigamist. Uh, 
Oh, is he a Mormon? Mateo was briefly married to that girl a long time ago, and it was supposed to be an old, but something got messed up, and now they're straightening it out. Is that clear to everyone? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Perfectly. An annulment, like uh, Princess Carolyn in Monaco. That makes it perfectly clear, and we don't have to concern ourselves about it anymore, do we, Jillian? No, Grandmama. Eugenia, thank you. I'll be in the study if anyone needs me. Dimitri, I need to discuss something with you. Haley, you need anything? I'm fine, thank you. Um, oh, oh, Ryan, um, oh, yes, do you think it will continue to be sunny all day? Yes, Grandma. Oh, that would be wonderful, because Peggy and I are planning to plant, uh, oh, blue delphiniums in the North Garden. They look so wonderful there. Of course, delphiniums are such a fragile blossom. Uh, well, they're very beautiful as long as they last. So what's up? I need to know why you were so opposed to accepting me as your brother. Whoa, oh, what is this? I thought I'd become the ideal brother. We'll table that discussion. This is not about you and me. This is... I'm trying to get a handle on a similar situation. So uh, our gothic nightmare wasn't unique? There's a young woman who claims she grew up in the wrong family, just like I did. Well, is this something to do with the magazine? No, this is more personal. Her name is Kit Fisher, and I find her very intriguing. I don't know whether I want to believe her story or not, but I, I'm believing it, and I'm just too curious to let it go. Well, it doesn't sound like your typical boy meets girl story. No, more like boy carjacks girl. Will boy help girl find true family? Oh, you got me hooked. You know the night that I found out where Lee Hawkins was keeping Haley? My car was blocked, and there she was. Oh, so you just took sort of... Took her car. Mm -hmm. Turns out she's in town to meet this guy she claims is her brother. Who's the guy? That's not relevant. He thinks she's a fraud. He swears he saw his baby sister drown. Now, she says she's remembered a boating accident since she was tiny. But does she have any proof? No, nothing concrete, but enough circumstantial evidence to make it plausible. And she wants me to take a DNA test, and he flat out refuses. I know. Just like, just like your reluctance to help me prove that Hugo is my father. Reluctance? No, no, I've been allowing the DNA test on Hugo's body. It was one of the greatest fears I've ever had to face. You don't know those people. You didn't know how they'd react, and you, and you just go out and blurt something out like that? Should I have lied? You should have kept your mouth shut, is what you should have done. I've never seen you like this before. Do you know who you remind me of? Your dad and my dad. How do you want me to react when you go out and hurt and embarrass Haley and me in front of the people we live with? Those people are your family. Why didn't they know that I existed? I mean, Edmund, Edmund is Maria's husband. And Maria and I were like sisters. You have no right to keep me from knowing Edmund or my niece and nephew. Your niece and nephew? Raquel, this is not your family. Our marriage is over. And if somehow it still exists, it's just a technicality. I am your only wife. <laughs> and in the eyes of God, I'm always going to be... Listen to me. This past year, God has shown me again and again who my wife is. And that's Haley. This Thursday through Saturday will be unseasonably cool. Just use your Sears card, and we'll take a cool 10% off everything you buy, even sale prices. How cool is that? The one card for the mini side of Sears. Now, what is that? A big Bissell deep cleaner? Just because Aunt Emma spills her latte? Well, Bissell's newest deep cleaner is a wash it down, lift it up, get on with your life. Portable. Hmm. A cordless handheld portable called the Spot Lifter. Life's messy. Clean it up. 
I can do that, yep. Young Andrew is about to discover just how strong Charmin Ultra is. Strong enough for this. The strongest bathroom tissue there is. And it's still facial tissue soft. Charmin Ultra, where softness and strength form the perfect combination. Charmin, where would you be without it? Oh, my hat. Some days you don't have time for breakfast. My books. So Carnation Instant Breakfast is packed to go with vitamins and minerals and 99% fat free. Carnation Instant Breakfast from Nestle. It's a healthy start. All my children will be back in a moment here on ABC. Chevrolet would like to bring you this special announcement. New Chevy cars and trucks are heading your right way. Right now, your local Chevy dealer is offering great deals. During the Chevy model year clearance. Get up to $1,000 cash back on Chevy Cavalier now. Get $1,000 factory cash back on Chevy Malibu now. Or get big savings with 0.9 financing. Financing less than 1% a year. So finish what you're doing. Then get to the Chevy model year clearance. We're talking savings at your Chevrolet dealers Northwest. Hey, cookies. Say, you know, I think our neighbor hmm? might like one, too. Huh? Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Got milk? You're wearing used clothes right now. You got a closet full of used clothes. Difference is, you paid a lot more for the ones you're using than I paid for the ones I'm using. These are some experienced clothes. You'll pay less. Got them at Value Village. I think you should go down there right now. Get yourself some new used clothes. Value Village, full of great things that have been previously owned at no extra charge. He's not alone. If it can happen in the White House, it can happen in your house. How cheaters get caught. Watch the next Inside Edition. Home Improvement, tonight at 7 on CAP ABC. I know what we felt was real and forever. I read the articles in The Intruder, and it said that you were married. It was right there in black and white, but that didn't even register to me. I knew that when you saw me, that you would feel like I do, and that we were meant to be. And what? You tell me that, that I embarrass you? That's not what I meant. Our family broke us up. I tried to find you. I prayed for you to but find me. I couldn't. Me. I couldn't find you. Everyone and everything turned against us, and I lost you. And after a lot of years, after I'd, I'd grown up, I found Haley. And in spite of everything that she and I have been through, I thank God every day for the way my life has turned out. I'm meant to be with Haley. You seem so sure, so sure. It, it kills me. It breaks my heart to hurt you like this. When I thought of you, I, I hoped that you were happy. I hope that, that you had found someone too, you know? I hope that when you thought of us, that you thought of us as, as a beautiful memory, like I do. I am more than a memory. 
story. Haley, you and Mateo were supposed to be remarried last night. Did Raquel arrive before or after? Jillian. Jillian. Come and help me hunt for my sunglasses. They could be anywhere, my memory being what it is. Of course, Grandmama. You know what? It doesn't really matter anyway, because the marriage would have been just as illegal as your old one. Well, you know what? As soon as the senorita's packed off with her papers, then you guys can have a spectacular wedding, and then this marriage of yours will be something other than just a silly sham. I was just being supportive. My dear, you were just being yourself at your most unattractive. Grandma. And don't you dare speak to me for the remainder of the morning. <sighs> what do you want? Metaphorical shoulder to cry on? I'm not going to cry, metaphorically or otherwise. Here, well, why don't you take some more stuff, you can throw it at me, and you can pretend I'm Raquel. Raquel is no threat to me. And if she even believes that she can come between Mateo and myself, then she's got a lot more to fear than my pillows. Well, she's going to be on her way soon, all right? Because if it's, if it's a legal snafu, then it's got to be cleared up in no time. Yeah, I just wish I had a little time to recover from being kidnapped and poisoned before the fates threw the first wife on me. Well, it's not exactly the fates who were in remiss here. I mean, it seems to me Mateo had some splaining to do that he never got around to. I'm not going to blame Mateo yet. I'm sure there was a very good explanation for why he didn't tell me. Yeah, like he had for not telling you about his trips to Future World. He'd rather let you think he was a psycho. Kind of makes you wonder what else he's holding back, though, huh? You had the gall to judge someone like Mateo you? A scam artist who married a green card princess so you get your hands on her Hungarian millions? You don't know the first thing about a marriage, or loving someone, or truth-telling for that matter. I guess not. But I think you're tearing off with the wrong guy. I came up here to make you feel better, so if it makes you feel better, then tear away. Let me tell you something. I don't want your help, and I don't want your shoulder, and I don't want any part of you. I know it may even be considered reasonable to be suspicious of our government these days, but you can trust these two. So, if Palmer has contacted you, or if you have any idea where he might be, please let us know so we can help. I don't know. If Uncle Palmer's really in danger... Just so happens, Dixie was trying to come up with some ideas about where Palmer would be hiding out. And she made up a list. Now, it's just a bunch of educated guesses, but as a former private investigator, i got to admit, it looks pretty good. That's great. That's just what we were hoping for. Thank you very much. No, 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 don't thank us yet. You don't get the list unless we get something in return. Wait, you want your uncle alive or in a body bag? We want a deal of immunity for Uncle Palmer. You find him, paintings are all okay, he serves no jail time. Fact is, I told Opal days ago that I would try to work a deal like that out. Well, if you talk to Opal, I'm sure she told you that try doesn't walk the dog. So we want the deal on paper and signed. Look, I have no problem with that, but that might take a while, and I would say we have some more pressing priorities here. Just talking about priorities? I've got a syndicated talk show. I could easily write an entire week's worth of episodes entitled I Got Screwed by Uncle Sam. What's more, I could put it on the air a week before elections. How's that sound? That sounds like something that might just hurry the process up a little bit. Why don't I make a phone call?
Judas, not that ludicrous boot licker again. I thought I told you to... May we come in, Mr. Corbin? We're here to pick up our paintings. Wow, buck seventy-five for a cup of joe? It's the 90s. Everything's out of whack. Not so fast. I know how you can get all your long-distance calls for under a buck. Oh, I heard about that. You dial 10, 10, 2, 20, and all your long-distance calls from home up to 20 minutes cost just 99 cents. Now, there's an informed consumer. What happens after 20 minutes? It's only 10 cents for each extra minute. Well, you've got to sign a contract. You've been hurt, haven't you? There is no contract. Not up. Yeah, you just dial 10, 10, 2, 20, 1, and then the number. Bingo. A little sanity in an otherwise insane world. Coffee's up. Get cash bread. One, two, three, four. Give me a bread. Give me a bread. Break me up a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Give me a bread. Give me a bread. I want to take a break with that Kit Kat bar. Food that sounds as fresh as this comes from a new food storage bag that sounds like this. Ziploc introduces Slidelock, the new bag that tells you it's closed. So now you can be sure it's fresh, because you can hear slide lock close. Slide lock. The new sound of freshness from Ziploc. Because there's a hundred little things to take care of in the morning, two of which are hungry. Introducing Kellogg Breakfast Mates. A bowl of Kellogg cereal, milk, and spoon all in one. It's one less thing to worry about. Make breakfast easier. Mm -hmm. Kellogg's Breakfast Mates in the refrigerated section. Because your kids' cartoons start at 5.30 a.m. and you don't. Introducing Kellogg's Breakfast Mates. A bowl of Kellogg cereal, milk, and spoon all in one. So they can make breakfast anytime. Make breakfast easier. Kellogg's Breakfast Mates in the refrigerated section. Our dentist says we need to floss more often. I use floss all the time. Me too. I love floss. Gotta get between those teeth and check out this new toothbrush. Introducing the Crest Extender. It's inspired by floss with gentle extender fibers to help clean deep between teeth. So in between flossing, we get between teeth with this. The new Crest Extender fits between to get teeth clean. New Kleenex Cotton Alley is now softer than the leading brand. Oh. No wonder more people prefer it. <sighs> Sorry to burst your bubble, guys. New Kleenex gotten out. Softer makes it better. Sunday, the wonderful world of Disney roars into a brand new season. With the king of swing. Look, no hands! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the king of the jungle. <laughs> Brendan Fraser in a world television premiere. <laughs> George of the Jungle, ABC premieres Sunday at 7, 6 Central. Tomorrow, stay on top of the news and keep ahead of the headlines with Good Morning America, plus Academy Award winner Robert De Niro. On Good Morning America. Tomorrow. Dimitri, the truth is the truth. A DNA test is just a scientific way to prove it. Well, for me, it meant owning up to a lot of unpleasant truths. My father had committed indefensible acts that made uh, me face my complicity in them. Whoa, 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 you had no idea what was going on then? I should have, Edmund. You remember uh, when we were children and we'd call it a day and we'd both go our way, me up to the manor, you down to the carriage house, to Alf Gresham's abuse? You were my brother, you suffered for years, and I did nothing about it. What, 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 was I blind? Was, was it too much for me to comprehend? I, what I'm getting at is the guilt involved. I didn't mean to bring this up. No, no, no. If, if Kit Fisher turns out to be this man's sister, that means that this man has to face the fact that he and his family abandoned a little girl, that they didn't search long enough for her after the boating accident. And if the adoptive family happened to be of the Alf Gresham variety, that, that, that means that this man will feel responsible for all the pain that his sister endured. There it is, hot off the facts, so to speak. The original will be here via messenger. Looks good. Total immunity for exchange for cooperation. 
Okay, here you go. I think you should start with the, the hotel. It's his place in Manhattan that he likes to go when he wants to get in and out without anybody knowing where he is. Good. This will help us out a lot. Thank you. That was tough, but you guys did do the right thing, and I thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck. Gosh, I hope they find false and pepper. You know you're amazing. You know that. I know, I, I, I'm ashamed to say I have spent a lot of time thinking about your character flaws, but I forgot what a remarkable man you can be. Thank you. Why did you do that? Why did you get immunity for a Gabona? I mean, you said that Opal and Petey would be better off without him, and I know you just as soon see him in jail, so why? Because I thought it would make you happy. Paintings? Uh, if you mean these monstrosities, why, by all means, take them, although I'm afraid they're bolted to the wall. We've wasted so much time already. Gentlemen, I think you've come knocking at the wrong door, but since you have a gun pointing at me, I'll... I won't complain, just leave. The weapon pointed at you was dangerously close to being fired, Mr. Cortland. Or should I say, Private Cooney? Wasn't that your name when you stole the paintings from the Schloss? I can offer you a very expensive watch, my wallet. A rather large amount of cash, but as to painting... I've had enough of this. Let's end this now. Wait. I assure you, sir, our patience is not inexhaustible. Half our goal will be accomplished by killing you. We'll content ourselves with that, if need be. Hey! Come on! Come on! Take the wheel? Yeah! Well, with Donkey Kong the Thunder, you can get behind the wheel. Wow. The wheel shakes in your hands just like a real automobile. Tonka's new Rumbling Thunder is the only RC 4x4 with a real feel steering wheel. Steer to the left, wow. steer to the right, feel the rumbling thunder with a loud He'll feel the wheel rumble as he drives and steers through every move. I'm really driving. a rocket. Tonka's Rumbling Thunder. Play tough, play Tonka. The first time I used Mentadent, I knew it was different. Mentadent is different. That's because it's the only toothpaste with dentist-recommended fluoride, baking soda, and peroxide in a pump. So it activates on contact with a burst of oxygenated bubbles that give your teeth, your gums, your whole mouth a fresh sensation of clean. You can feel the bubbles working, and I love what Mentadent does for my teeth. Mentadent clean. So clean, you can feel it. For more oral care information, call 1-877-FEELS-GREAT. You're on Love Matters. When love matters, I'm here to help. Dave? Yeah, I'm having this problem with my Ooh. girlfriend. It's kind of involved. Diarrhea. Get it, and you want it gone. You're a really good listener, you know? Who needs really Emodium AD? Emodium Advanced. Aww. It's even better. Only Emodium Advanced relieves diarrhea plus cramps and bloating by combining two medicines. And it's even faster than Emodium AD. So was I right to invite my mom along on my honeymoon? Oh, Dave, absolutely. Emodium Advanced. Faster relief you can count on. Oh, at my age, at 48 years old, beauty is as beauty does. Nothing's going to transform you, but lotion is going to make an instant difference in the way your skin looks. What's good about a little bit of color in a moisturizer, it looks like you don't have makeup on. You just want a hint of color, just a little bit. A little brightness. Glotion's a really easy way to look radiant. I feel better when my skin looks better. Glotion's really one of the best things you can do for your skin. Glotion Skin Brightening Moisturizer. Thank you very much, Ultima 2. So sweet, so kissably fresh. My baby's skin is at its best when it's cleaned just right. For these delicate parts, I want a wipe that's not too dry. Try Pampers Baby Fresh with new moisture pillow quilting. These special wipes contain just the right amount of moisture to help leave skin clean and fresh. And they're gentler than the other leading regular brand. When her skin's this perfect, this fresh, it's perfectly irresistible. Pampers Baby Fresh with moisture pillows.
presents an unforgettable week. Starring Scott Baldwin. What do you think I'm James Bond? <laughs> and Lucy Cole. We're trapped! In their greatest adventure ever. <laughs> what snake? It's only on Port Charles ABC Daytime. You know, it's very possible that all this could be for nothing. By now, Palmer could be halfway through Mongolia. I don't know. Somehow I doubt it. Uncle Palmer wouldn't go anywhere he couldn't find a decent cognac. Look. Hi, Mama. Uh, look, I'm, um, I'm sorry we should have, uh, come over and seen you earlier, huh? Oh, that's all right. You know, I've been shopping since the stores opened. Uh, can't say cooped up, you know, and so, um... I just um, went a little bit overboard, but uh, even for me, but I figured, oh, it's all right, because Palmer's never going to see those bills anyway here. What's all this? Oh, shirts, shoes, sweaters, what have you for you and Jamie. They're all in the correct sizes. Thank you. I keep a little book, you know, with all the correct sizes of everyone I ever met. I learned to do that as a girl. Why don't you sit down for a while? You look a little wired. Wired? Oh, no. Uh, l the car's out front, and the trunk is full of handbags, so you get first dibs, okay? Um, wired, no. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, well, I am angry. I, I'm, I'm very, very angry, you know. For months, I, I made allowances for all of Palmer's meanness. I, I put up with each and every slight and insult that he had to offer because I was just so sure that deep down in his heart he he loved me and um, so I, I, I waited for him to realize that and and to tell me but I guess I waited too long it's not gonna happen cranky sadistic old man is Never going to tell me that he loves me. Mama, listen. Adrian and Mike stopped by. They, they had some information about Palmer. Oh, they found a body. No, no, there was no body. There's some pretty good information that Palmer is still alive. All right, how do you want to play? Just be very careful, please. Thanks a lot. Well, Raquel was a big hit with Sam and Maddie. Yeah, yeah she's a, a sweet girl. Do, do you know how long she'll be with us? Well, as much as I like her, I hope she's on the next plane out of Pine Valley. Uh, no, I think that's a wise hope. You got some more calls to make? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll leave you. Listen, thanks for uh, being inside this morning. Not at all. Edmund, you wouldn't by any chance tell me who Kit Fisher's alleged brother is. I just think that story uh, might be better than the one you're telling me. No comment. Well, I could see if I could get him to change his mind about the risk. Edmund, what I'm trying to say is I'm glad the DNA test was forced on me. a visitor, a Miss Kit Fisher. Should I have her wait in the hall? No, no, no. Have her, have her wait here. Oh, I'm 
sorry. Is this a bad time? Uh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. Uh, Edmund, uh, I stepped out for a moment, but, uh, I've been told a lot about you, Miss Fisher. Maybe I can be of service? You're making a mess of my whole life, that's all. Oh, my dear, I am sure you will persevere. I think if you started out as a young woman in this country, you would do the same thing. You told me that I should be sincere with Ryan and tell him that I loved him. Oh, yes. I did. And he utterly rejected me. Oh, my dear. Well, perhaps you misunderstood him. You know, Ryan's vocabulary at times is it's most peculiar. Well, I'm off to the salt mines. Do you see? Excuse me, that's my jacket. So long, ladies. Ryan, Ryan, you stay right here. I am weary of seeing you two at cross purposes when I know, I know that you belong together. Yes, we do. For the next seven months, and then as soon as immigration is off our backs, I'm filing for a divorce. you and Haley both. Well, she's not here. She probably needs some space, so... Look, I didn't come here to cause you and Haley pain. Especially Haley. I know what it's like for... for two people to be in love and for somebody to try and break us apart. Yeah, I, I don't think it should be painless. We'll let the lawyers figure it out. Right? Whether we need a divorce or a no, no, no. Mateo, you've misunderstood. I didn't come here to cause you pain. But there won't be a divorce or an annulment. I'm gonna stay your wife. Stay tuned for scenes from the next All My Children. mix for your kid on the go. Check School Fuel, a sweet new recipe on specially marked boxes. In minutes, you transform brown sugar, checks, and chocolate into a treat that'll rev up their taste buds. Keep the change. New Check School Fuel. You make it, kids love it. Is a big odor <laughs> invading your little space? Stop it with new Wizard Dual Action Stick Ups and Stick Up for Fresh Air. Can I get fluoride and tartar protection in a whitening toothpaste? Absolutely. Introducing Aquafresh Whitening Plus Tartar Protection. It's proven to reduce tartar and bite cavities. Aquafresh Whitening Plus Tartar Protection for dazzling whiter teeth. Fun. Dryers that chase away wrinkles while you're out for a spin. Dishwashers that make loading up child's play. Ovens that go from 0 to 350 in a flash. Shelves that adjust with the twist of a knob. Microwaves that fit four platefuls of slurpable spaghetti. Hey, at Kenmore, we don't just make appliances. We make ways to make sure you have more fun. Smart, stylish, simple. In a word, Kenmore, America's number one appliance brand. Mirror, mirror.
Even if you can't always treat your wood furniture with kid gloves, always treat it to Pledge. Because Pledge does what's right for your wood. Its condition is cared for and protected far longer than dusting sprays. So treat your furniture like you do. And where life goes on, let Pledge go on. S.C. Johnson like you do. Less crime is no accident. Mentoring, job training, counseling, these kinds of programs are keeping kids away from crime. Look around. Kids involved in these programs are staying out of trouble. It takes you and programs that work. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT for a free booklet and help take a bite out of crime. On the next All My Children. Mateo! I have to make her understand. No, you have to make me understand. I don't want your reward money. I want what you have. We gotta put this thing into action. All right, okay? Be careful. 